Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, uh, we're gonna be playing a bit of Walking Dead today. Um, it's the first episode for my complete series that I'm gonna be doing. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have a proper schedule for this. I might just hit upload here and there. Um, it's really whenever it's uh, yeah, whenever I can record really. Uh, I have already started playing this game just to see what it was about. Uh, well, I've only not really what it's about. <laughs> Just to give me a heads up on what to do, but I'm going to start a new game for this. Uh, device control, touch control. Go touch control. Telltale Games presents in association with Skybound Entertainment The Walking Dead. So one, a new day. Okay, this game is basically where you make your um, decisions on um, what you want to say, really, and the game adapts to what um, decisions you make. Stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. I'm telling him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops. Having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They 
caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him, but he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Well, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Oh, shit. This other time... Nailed it. Turn it down a little.